Hey guys, welcome back to the game we're playing. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Chrono Trigger for the Sony PlayStation, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Eh, what the hell? No, no, hey! Yeah, like, it gives you some pointers, too. I don't think I ever read this. Alright, listen up. The gas is on auto, and there's only one speed. Fast. Yeah, blah, 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 Yeah, I think I... Oh, yeah, okay. Not that complicated. So I might as well race for fun. For fun! There we go! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, you like that, don't you, Johnny? You disgust me! You disgust me, Johnny! The fuck is the matter with you? My insurance ran out, man! This is an awesome race, man! Yeah! Yeah! Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? It's a close one! It's a close one! <laughs> oh, wow! Now that was exciting. Can you believe that shit? Okay, so I can just hit the X button. I don't have to watch that whole, you know, happy scene of me winning. That was the best race ever. You beat me! I don't get it! You can challenge me anytime. We'll ride like the wind, babe. That's a new high score. That's a new high score? Wow. I guess that's the first time I did a race with a record log. So yeah, that's a new high score. Awesome, man. Wow. Jesus, jumped up. So was there any... I can't remember if there was another sealed door in the Eris Dome. Eris. Aris. Remember. Uh, uh, God damn it! I can't. There we go. Hey, fellas, look. The seed sprouted. There are a couple of new little things happen here. Oh, damn it! There's there's not a sealed door down there, is there? Nah, nah, there isn't. So, you know, they don't really, not too many things say, uh, not too many people say different things. wonder what kind of fruit this is going to bear. A couple of them do. Apparently the seeds sprouted and yeah, that's good stuff. You know what this, uh, this feature kind of reminds me of? Kind of reminds me of a movie I just saw recently, which was really good, The Road. It's called The Road, about, uh, about a father and son surviving in a post-apocalyptic uh, world. A lot of people have turned into cannibals. Which is, you know, why don't they do that? Mm -hmm. Gotta eat something. I'm hungry! Okay, so uh, I took care of the sewer access way in the beginning of the game. You could actually save that to right here. Isn't that ridiculous? You know how easy that would be? So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm taking the shortcut. I'm, I feel lost. Is this the right way? Yeah. Hard, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Of course, here's the old uh, the Death Peak. Picked up a tab from there earlier. Keeper's Dome. Hey, now. So, you recall us being here in the beginning of the game, and there was one of those news. Man, oh, there he is. And some other crazy guy. He just it didn't seem like he quite belonged here, did he? Just didn't quite belong. Oh, uh, this guy's sleeping. These news. You know, they're so awesome and so messed up. I don't know. I like the news. It's a love-hate thing. The professor's programming was, in a sense, his own eulogy. Soon, I, too, will be able to sleep forever. But first, there is one thing I must do. Program error. My memory banks have failed. What the fuck? So you wake him up again, you know, he says the same thing. Oh, thanks for nothing, asshole. Well, that's okay. We can help ourselves. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. A 
What the hell? Tabs? No, not tabs. To those who opened the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. I once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. A great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Eons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Lavos disappeared briefly when he summoned away when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claimed this area and reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate. Like a giant parasite, he is consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continued conduct research on Lavos, but I am growing old. And it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times. So before I lose it completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home, but I have grown frail. So you, you, who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you. But you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now the last door and take what you find there. My last invention. My wings of time. So what? what's in here? My last invention, the wings of time. Holy good mother! Chrono, can you believe that? Awesome. This moves through time? Wow, this is amazing. How do you tell the front from the back? I remember the first time I played this game, I was like, okay, I want to get in, want to get in. Let me in, I'm pushing the button. What, what should I do? Oh, God damn it. Whoa! Hey, look, look who woke up. That's nice. Everyone out of the way. Out of the way, please. <laughs> Hi. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the... I love, I love these directions. This is how he's going to explain it to us. Press the square button for the time gauge. Then use the L and R buttons to select an era. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Before you go, why don't you... <laughs> Sleeping on the job. Hey, hey, what? Wake up. Name my time machine. So it's called the, uh, the Epoch, the Epoch. I always leave it at, you know, I never rename these things. Good stuff. Hop aboard. Oh, one last thing. Instructions for the time machine. Oh, no, it just tells us the instructions again. Mm-hmm. And Professor's message. Talk to him again. I could have sworn a... All right, I think you have to... There we go. That actually comes a little later. I was thinking of something else. So, yeah, man, take off. This is it. It's about time. We're about to make that time travel shit a hell of a lot easier. So, uh, we could go over here to the end of time by doing that. That's, uh, that's basically fighting Lavos right away. There's actually a couple of cool cutscenes there. 1999 Apocalypse, uh, that's when the shit hits the fan. Yeah, so we got the end of- Oh, oh, god, the end of time. I got confused. End of time, yeah, we know what the end of time is. This, this is what I was talking about, 1999, uh, AD Apocalypse. This is, uh, you know, kind of going to right before Lavos comes out. Uh, and, you know, there's a cutscene there. That's what I meant. Anyway, the present, the uh, Middle Ages, Dark Ages, and Prehistoric. So, of course, you know, we're, we're trying to get back to the Dark Ages. 
Good stuff. This time around, it's not as easy. That's a shame. Where'd the new go? Oh well, who cares? Whoa. Awesome stuff, man. It's time traveling time. All right, man. What's going to happen next? We're going to have to find out. Stay tuned for the next part of Chrono Trigger. I'll see you guys next time, and I am out.